Hello everybody, I want to do a, a comparison of what a, the difference between a modified sine wave inverter and a pure sine wave inverter is and uh, what you really need to know about them. Um, right here in this box it shows you what the difference between the wave is. Here's the modified sine wave, just kind of like on and off blocks. Then your pure sine wave is like, you know, pure just like from the electric company. But what that really means is um, the pure sine wave runs stuff a lot smoother, like mo electric motors, like in this fan, and capacitors, like in that LED light up there I'm going to show you, don't like the modified sine wave. I don't know what really does like the modified sine wave, except for maybe like simple electric uh, bulbs and stuff like that. So I'm just going to show you what happens when you use modified and what happens when you use normal pure. Turn that on. Uh, one of the differences is modified is way cheaper than pure sine wave. This is a 300 watt pure sine wave and uh, usually runs for about $100. I got it for $65 on a super sale used. And uh, this was like $50. And it's, a th one, it's 1100 watt. So there's a huge difference in price and what you get power wise. But if you had to pick one, I would go with the mod with the pure sine wave inverter just because it's so much more efficient. And if you're not going to use huge wattages for something, and you can stay under the 300 watts here, I would definitely recommend that. So I'm just going to show you what happens when you use modified sine wave with this LED light I have. As you can see, it lights up. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it, but there's a buzzing sound coming from the uh, uh, light bulb. I don't know if you can pick it up or not, but it buzzes like zzz, which is kind of sucks. And it doesn't do that with the pure sine wave inverter. If you use a pure sine wave inverter, it's just, you know, like a normal plug-in. I don't have to even show you that. Now with this fan, you use the modified. And it makes like a humming sound. I'm sure you can probably hear that. Humming sound. And, and it means the motor's running like super inefficiently. It's gonna it runs hot. And it's using more power than if you would use the pure sine wave here, watch. You can see now it's running on the pure sine wave and there's no humming perfectly smooth. It actually runs better than plugging into the power of the wall. I guess the, the this, this creates a cleaner power than the what I'm getting from the power company. So I just kind of wanted to show you that. Um, I definitely recommend this thing right here. Especially if you can get it for a good price. I got it for like $65 used and they're usually about 100 Even at 100 it's a way better deal. And if you don't need a whole bunch of power for something, if you're just gonna run, if you're running any kind of electronics, it'll run way better on the pure sine wave. Um, and I, sometimes you can damage electronics with your modified sine wave after a lot of use; they'll get really hot, especially motors and stuff. So that's kind of the difference. Just thought I'd uh, show, I to show you how much more power a modified sine wave inverter uses on electric motors than pure sine wave. Just a demonstration. So uh, let me go to watts here. It's using zero right now. I've got the fan on low. And it's using about 27 watts of power. Now, I'm going to pause it and I'm going to show you what the modified sine wave is. All right, here is the modified sine wave demonstration. And uh, when you start it up on low, you're going to hear, like, god-awful sound. Alright, so it's going. And it's using uh, 32 watts on low. Uh, on high, it doesn't really seem to make a difference uh, how many watts. They both use 50 on high. But on low, on the lower settings, it's just running less efficiency. I guess the increased speed helps it out. Helps even it out. So uh, that's another difference right there.